Good morning, South Fort Myers. I am Laz. And I am Rhea. And you are watching, watching Wake Up, Up Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Students, tomorrow is a very important day. We start fast testing. I'll bring you TJ's stress and pointers to bring in a charge Chromebook. All right, TJ, I'll talk to you later. Good luck on the test. What do you mean, test? You knew this. Over 80% of the schools take the fast test today. Tuesday, August 23rd. Oh my god, I forgot to charge my Chromebook. And I know Mr. Denny is not going to have no more chargers left. Bruh. At least you have your Chromebook. I heard the students who don't have them are going to have consequences. I wonder what the consequences are. So what's easier? Carrying 60 pounds for 15 minutes or charging your Chromebook? I'll charge my Chromebook. I'll make sure I charge my Chromebook. Thank you. <laughs> Chromebook. Alright, that's definitely not going to happen. It's alright. I just made sure I come with a charge Chromebook tomorrow so I won't miss the test. Yeah, good idea. Attention all South Fort Myers students, on Tuesday, August 23rd, we will begin our statewide testing. Make sure to charge your Chromebooks. These tests are required for graduation, and it's very important you come to school prepared with that Chromebook. Check this out from Mr. Mel's class on Friday. Students learned about making hypotheses using paper helicopters. After day one, students went home and revised their helicopter designs to test their hypothesis. Lewis caught up with Mr. Mel to talk about the hands-on learning assignment. I think we had some fun. I, I think uh, uh, for the most part people, people did the lesson not realizing that there was a purpose behind it and then you know, we post-fed the purpose after the lesson was over. And what was the purpose of it? Well, we were exploring the scientific method. Uh, it, it was an inquiry-based uh, approach to discover uh, what the scientific method was. Great job, Mr. Mel. This upcoming Friday is going to be South's first pep rally in the last two years. This is to get everyone hyped for our first regular home season football game. The last time we had a pep rally was to celebrate our own Super Bowl champion, Sammy Watkins. This one will be a little different. Let's hear from Ms. Schultz for more information. We're so excited for the pep rally uh, this week. You need to make sure you wear a red shirt, a black shirt, or a South shirt to be able to participate in the game. Uh, the pep rally will be a lot of fun. We're gonna play some games. If you're interested in participating in the game, look at the Google Classroom and be sure to sign up. But if you're a senior, be sure to wear your crown from our big walk from last year. You get to wear it for the pep rally. Wear school, school colors, colors on Friday. Friday. That's, That's all, all we have, have for the news. news. Let's send it to sports. sports. I'm Baldwin Rodriguez, and you're watching Wake Up Wolf Fat. Hey, my name is Carlos, you're watching Wake Up Wolf Fat, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Wake Up Wolf Fat, baby! Welcome to the Sports Center. I'm Luis. First game day in the books. Great work by all our staff and student athletes who participated in Friday night's kickoff classic. Congrats to Coach Woody for completing his first Friday night as athletic director. Now, this Friday night is the real deal. Head to GoFans.co right now and get your tickets for the season opener on Friday at home against Gulf Coast. Our band and cheerleaders did a great job bringing the spirit to Wolfpack Stadium, and our football team is sure to continue to, prove, to improve on their great preseason effort. Friday should be fun after a great rally during the school day. That's all we have for the news. Have a powerful Wolfpack day.